This video is for my Clark County School District teachers and administrators. I'm going to show you uh, Infinite Campus as you can see on my screen here, but how Infinite Campus and Canvas sync with grades. Um, so discussing some workarounds and how to make Infinite Campus appear accurate for our students um, so they understand what grade they're receiving. Uh, so let's just get started. The first thing that I want to make note of is this button right up here, uncategorized assignments, okay? So you can see I have one assignment that has come over from Canvas into Infinite Campus. That is what this alert is telling me. Another thing that many teachers do not realize is that this notification, this one assignment hanging out up here, is marked missing for every student. That even if they've submitted something, even if they received a grade, it is marked missing until you bring it down into your grade book. So this assignment over here in this column, you can see, has not been graded yet. Students can see that if it's white, meaning it's not affecting their score over here, that they did submit the assignment. But if it's missing, marked as M, it means that they did not turn in anything. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about missing, but this is an example of what it looks like when I bring it down, compared to if I were to leave it up here, it would be marked as M for every student and it affects their score. Quick note to my teachers who are manually importing all of the assignments from Canvas to IC, if you are putting in the assignments yourself and adding your own marks and you have all those same assignments coming over up here, that means that all these assignments are being shown as well to your students as these ones. These are showing the appropriate score, this is showing as missing. So that is why you may be receiving emails about students in Infinite Campus receiving a failing score because if you have the same amount of assignments down here as you do up here, then the student's gonna receive a 50%. So just being aware that uncategorized assignments, they are not hidden up here, is very important. So let's click on this real quick. And so here's my assignment that I am going to bring down, but I'm going to click on this. All right, so next thing that I really want to point out within assignment details is this box as well as this box. So this portal box, this allows the students to see the assignment. Real quick, some schools might have given teachers the option to have this box auto turned off, so meaning it's not selected. Um, I'm focusing on the schools who have this box auto checked for all teachers, but if your school has um, turned this setting off, in that uncategorized, all those notifications then, students can't see those. So that, that is a good thing, um, but it, of course it does depend on your, your school and what they, of course, have been um, directed to do. So if you have a box um, that's auto, like when you open the assignment, it looks like this, the, the box is not checked. You as a teacher then to make it viewable for your students need to click that box, select it, and then you're good to go. That is um, just one thing I wanted to point out real quick. If you unclick this box and save it, the student then can no longer view that this assignment is an infinite campus. But even though they still can't view it, if you save it and you put it in the appropriate category and grading task, you will see that it still calculates a score. So students can't see it, but their score does change. If you do not want that grade um, to be shown or included, you can uncheck that box. So now the student cannot see this assignment and the student does not, it does not affect their overall score. Okay, so then what I, I do want this one to be visible though, and I do want it to count towards the grade. So I'm going to then go over here, click save. 
And then to see it populate within infinite campus, I will select close. So now that I no longer have any uncategorized assignments, that button has disappeared. So all my assignments are placed in I see correctly. The score is for my students now correct. Um, so they can actually see what they are earning so far. And the new quiz has been placed over here. And you'll see I still have those generated auto M's for missing. Um, so those of you who are struggling with marks, um, our M's have been set up in a way by our administration to be marked as 50%. So this is a minimum F. If they actually earn a minimum F, they receive a score. So this is how, so you can see when I hover over this, it says turned in. When I come down here, it says missing. So this is, this is a, another way to make it accurate for the students and parents to view on their infinite campus portal for grades. So I'm gonna show you Canvas real quick and then conclude this video. Okay, so here's the same assignment that I just placed in Infinite Campus. So as you can see, here is a score for a minimum F. So they actually completed the quiz, but they received a uh, minimum F. This one is blank. So if, if I don't grade this in Infinite Campus, it is a auto-generated M. The only issue with doing this doing it this way is then canvas is not an accurate score um, because it does not you'll see that it says they got so far this student is getting a hundred percent even though this is missing because I don't have a score for this so one thing that I do in order for students to not be able to view their grade in canvas so that way they're not seeing an inaccurate score is I go to settings course details scroll all the way to the bottom and click more options and then I right here high totals in student grade summary I select this box and update the course so now my students cannot see a total score in canvas this then requires them to have to go into infinite campus to view their correct score. All right, just a real quick summary. We talked about uncategorized assignments. When they're in that box, uh, they're marked as missing for all students. We talked about bringing your assignments um, down. We talked about that portal box, um, hiding the grades if you want to, um, and also that um, listing it as doesn't count towards the grade box. Um, and then also we talked about the missing mark, how to generate that as well. So if you have any questions about those things, feel free to leave a comment below and reach out to me. I am very willing to help um, if you need any assistance. And yeah, that's it. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.